Um, my, my name is Abdul Latif Musi. Um, my bank, background is, is banking. Uh, when I finished my call um, in the banking system uh, way back in 1993, I uh, asked myself, what's, what else can I do apart from running around to make money? Uh, so I said uh, to myself, let me give back to society some of my experience so we can assist in some way to um, get people more interested in matters of the community. I had the community newspaper and that community newspaper led me on to be part of the Victoria Land and Korea Resident Association. The community paper focused, it was called the Mirror, focused on matters of uh, the community. And I think members enjoyed it and brought me in. Um, when they did, uh, progressively, I was a trustee of uh, the association. Uh, progressively, they now said, look, something was missing. Uh, we had an executive director who was coordinating the uh, community involvement in matters of the environment and security. Um, they, 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 that, that started for a while, and there was a little problem. So the executive secretary had to leave. So when he left, when she left, I said to myself, let me take on that assignment as well. So apart from uh, um, my interest in the community, I have little other things uh, uh, that keep me busy. But essentially, I commit uh, most of my time to matters of the community. And essentially, we focus on um, how to improve or maintain the common assets, uh, get uh, interested in the concerns of individual members of the community. Uh, when they air all of this, the collective strength of the association is used to discuss with government. And uh, I think there's a lot to say uh, when we be responding to the questions as put up for the panel uh, so that I don't uh, uh, let it all out and there will be little less to say uh, when it comes to the question time. It's indeed uh, a great pleasure to be here. And as, as we speak, we feel, uh, I feel personally obliged and I think uh, some members of the association will feel the same way because one of the things that we've seen is that the awareness is, is still yet to get to the right level, um, not only at the level of the individuals, but also at the level of corporate institutions. Corporate institutions are the beneficiaries of most of what the association, the Victoria Land and Korea Association is doing but they are the least cooperative. And I think if, if uh, we achieve anything at all, is give these matters the publicity it deserves so that more and more people could come to be part of uh, the uh, effort to make sure that the community is not only protective, but sufficiently co cooperative uh, so that we will have an environment we can be proud of. Thank you. But um, I'll start with Alhaji Musi, please. You know, can you just share with us, you know, why residents associations are important to building more cohesive communities? And I asked that question because I remember when I was young, you know, I grew up in Surulere and we had a residence associations on our streets. But over the years, it feels like, it seems like everyone has just gotten busier, busier, busier. And the resident associations are there, but they're not seen as powerfully as they used to be before. And Chuka also referred to that a bit in his own opening statement. So Alhaji, please, could you share the importance of residence associations for cohesive communities? Thank you. The cohesiveness of society a, 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 a community is, is a function of uh, the realization by all the components, especially the, the individuals in the community. Uh, individuals not limited to the person, the organic person, but also businesses, those who have interest in the 
a community, uh, either they live there or they do business there. Uh, one of the issues is that they, they should understand that they, they share some common assets, common assets uh, in terms of the roads, the drainage system. Um, they have, in addition, natural facilities, the lagoon, the oceans, the ecosystem, the trees, um, quite a number of other things that they share in common, the transportation system to bring it home. All of this require uh, to be protected. Um, and, and the government, which is saddled with, with the responsibility of uh, giving us some good life um, by, by definition, uh, is not in the position to do uh, as much as, as we all desire. Therefore, the community has to have a medium to reach out to the government and let them know that there are limitations here and there. Uh, where they don't reach out to government, they, they, they could also do some of these things uh, to complement government effort. Um, the, the association, the Victoria Island and Equal Resident Association, as we knew it originally, was focused on just um, communicating with the government. There are exceptions here, there are exceptions there. Um, until uh, some 12, 13 years back, uh, when a committee uh, of self regulation was, was formed by the association, that committee transformed into what we now call a formal uh, uh, trust, Victoria Land and Ecoe Security and Environment Trust. Now, the focus of the committee was to ensure that members themselves did what was right. They didn't want um, street trading, for example, that, but they had malams all over their houses, uh, selling little things here and there, and attracting patronage uh, of all manner of people that exposed the environment to uh, some threats of security because uh, people are moving, uh, looking at houses. And once they look and get enough information, they, they do or they did strike. So the, the association then formed this committee, which began to take steps to let the community know that this is wrong, that is wrong, that should not be done. The law says this, the law says that. It's not everything that we have to take to government uh, before we can resolve. Um, we, that was the first phase of, of the Committee on Self-Regulation, which transformed to security, uh, Victoria Land and Equity Security and Environment Trust. So a lot of effort was, was made by the initial uh, committee members to ensure that even where it was necessary, um, traders could be chased, all these with the cooperation of government. Uh, at that time too, the association, the association, the committee of the association, which transformed, like I said, had a police uh, uh, um, detachment, so to say. We also had a magistrate court, which could deal with whatever problems, uh, whoever was um, not to be in regulation in time. So the, the community has a, a task to protect itself. It's not everything government, government. Um, like I said, uh, country as you represent also platform where ideas about what is right for our environment which we share because the community has a lot of resources in there that, that is latent. So there are X this, X that in every community. Uh, there are X ministers, X uh, um, governors, X whatever, X bank executives, uh, name it. So all of this, all of this uh, uh, um, class of people, they, they have to pull together and represent the repertoire of, of information which they will share uh, within the community and to government when it is necessary. 
So community positions uh, about fiscal development are also easy to, to reach out to government with once we have uh, uh, a resident or a community association. So community associations serve a lot of purposes. And once these are opened up to those who benefit, I think it becomes easy for everyone to see that this is uh, an important uh, platform which everybody should uh, uh, avail itself of its uh, uh, uses. And there's so much more to say, but uh, I, I think um, um, we can we can live with this for the time being. Thank you. So just quickly go to some questions in the chat box, and I'll pass this on to our panelists because we we are still on time. But I think it's important that we allow other questions to be put forward before we conclude and go to the next steps. And Olamide gives us our closing remarks. So um, some of the questions that we have are looking at how, what plans do we have to rejuvenate the activities and community engagements. And how do we also have engagement mm -hmm. activities? Because some of a while back, carnivals were banned because miscreants took advantage. But in 2020, the Abu Residents Association was able to organize a carnival, but it was called an open house event. So the name was changed and they did quiz competition and they also did different things. So the question, and I guess this is to Miss Silva, is to say, how do we formalize and organize more events for people in our communities? And what I'll do, I'll just go through the questions and then just appoint the different panelists that will respond. And then we'll just respond to this in one or two minutes so that we can close before 12 o'clock, which is the stated time. So that's question one, Matt, to you. How do we formalize and organize more, some of what you are doing and also engage communities? The second question is how are corporate entities being courted to actively participate in all of these infrastructure developments? And I think this goes to Alhaji Musse because you spoke about you know, Victoria Island and residents. And so you can respond to that. And I guess Dolakwa as well, you can also respond a bit to that to talk about what's happening with Estate Intel and some of what you're also doing in terms of real estate advocacy for the developers. Cause I know that that's your developers and private investors. Um, Solomon has a question of brown envelope disease. I think that is beyond the remit of this um, panel. I don't know that we can address that. Um, Shemu has a question on, I want, to post, I want to create a public space that fosters recreation, but I don't live on the island. What should I consider in designing and what are the regulations to note? I think Chuka can respond to that. And then um, I can also respond to that because this isn't really about everyone living on the island. That's not, that's not the, the case. This is just a pilot so that we can learn and replicate. So just to repeat, Ms. Silva, you'll answer the first question on formalizing and organizing so we can do more things in community. Dolakwa, please, you and actually no, Alaji Musa, you will answer in terms of getting corporate entities, some of what has worked. Dolakwa, you will share with us what you're doing as, as Estate Intel. And then Chuka, you can advise on some of these things to consider in other spaces beyond the island. And then Mr. Lawson, I'll come back to you if we do get any other question. So thank you. Please, one minute each, if possible. Thank you. Thank you so much, Ma. Alaji yeah, Musa, over to you. Can you share some yeah. of what you're doing with the corporates, particularly with in VI and ECOE, and some of the successes you've been able to achieve, and how you know more people can work with corporates to ensure that they are part of the community development that they need to to also thrive in their businesses. Thank you. Yeah, I I, I think uh, thank you. I, I will start with um, some of the achievements of uh, the uh, association. Um, is, is, is this big, is huge. Um, at the time, Victoria- We only have it. one minute. Hello? We only have one minute, but anyway, please go ahead. Yeah, I, I will do that. I'll, 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 cut, it, I'll cut it short. Uh, uh, Victoria Island was exposed uh, to the Atlantic. Um, it is the association that took steps, uh, put pressure on government to uh, get something started. Well, as to the form, we, 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 we were not interested in whether we built a new, a new city or not, but the protection of Victoria land and the, the environment was very important and the association initiated steps to get that uh, into position. Corporate institutions, I think what they require is that we communicate with them. We let it be known that there is value in their participating uh, because uh, if they do, they will strengthen the, the, the association to do a lot more of advocacy 
for what is uh, missing here and there. Water is missing, the drainage is not flowing. Uh, all these will have effect on business businesses. But what we've seen thus far is that businesses would rather do some big projects and uh, tag their name, tag their, 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 their name to it, and oh, everybody sees that uh, it is uh, XYZ institution that has done this. We need far more than that, and uh, we, we, the association, should expose the benefits of what they're doing to the corporate institutions and solicit for uh, their the support. Thank you.